Welcome to our lecture online. The process of eliminating fractions from a linear equation in algebra is to take a look at all the denominators. So first what we're going to do is we're going to find the lowest common denominator of all the denominators. The next thing we're going to do is once we've found the lowest common denominator, we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by that lowest common denominator. So how do we do that? Well, notice we have two denominators. We have 8 and we have 6. So what we're going to do is we're going to take each of the denominators and write it as a product of its factors. So 8 can be divided by 2, so we end up with 2 times 4. And 4 can also be divided by 2, so we get 2 times 2. So essentially, 8 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2. We do the same for the other denominator. 6 can be subdivided. It can be divided by 2 and we end up with 2 times 3, which can no longer be divided any further than that. So essentially, 6 is equal to 2 times 3. Now we look at each of the factors. We notice that the factor 2 appears 3 times, and the factor 2 here appears once. So we take the number of times that 2 appears the most in any of the numbers here. We also see here that the factor 3 appears once here. It does not appear over here. In other words, the lowest common denominator is now equal to the product of all the factors that we circled. So what we do is we find the, the greatest number of times that each of the factors appears. We circle that and then we multiply them all together. So this becomes 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, which is therefore 24. And that then becomes the lowest common denominator. By the rule, we are then told once we found the lowest common denominator, we have to multiply both sides of the equation by that lowest common denominator which means we're going to multiply the left side by 24 and we're going to multiply the right side by 24. All right, what we need to do at this point is distribute the 24 over both terms. So we're going to distribute it over here and the same on the right side. We're going to distribute over both terms inside the brackets there. So this becomes 24 times 5 over 8 plus 24x over 8. Oop, not over 8. This one is over 6. There we go. Equals, here we get minus 5x times 24 over 6 and minus 1 times 24 over 8. And then we can go ahead and simplify each of those fractions. Here we can see that 8 goes into 24 3 times, so 24 divided by 8 is 3. 8 divided by 8 is 1. Here we can see that 6 goes into 24 4 times, so 24 divided by 6 is 4, 6 divided by 6 is 1. Here we can see that 6 goes into 24 4 times, so 24 divided by 6 is 4, 6 divided by 6 is 1. And here 8 goes into 24 3 times, so 24 divided by 8 is 3, and 8 divided by 8 is equal to 1. So now let's go ahead and simplify that. So we end up with 3 times 5, which is 15, plus 4 times x, which is 4x, equals minus 5x times 4, which is minus 20x, and minus 3 over 1, or simply minus 3. And you can see that we have now eliminated both on the fractions on both sides of the equation. At that point, we can, we can continue with the problem. We're going to move all the terms with the x to one side. So we're going to move the minus 20x to the left side becomes a positive 20x, and we're going to move the 15 to the right side, which now becomes a minus 15. So in this case, we end up with 4x plus 20x on the left side equals minus 3 minus 15 on the right side. The next step then would be to combine like terms. 4x plus 20x is 24x is equal to minus 3 minus 15, which is minus 18. And then the last step is divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient, the numerical coefficient in front of the x. So divide the left side by 24 and divide the right side by 24. So in this case, we get x is equal to minus 18 over 24. We can see that both of these are divisible by 6. So this can be written 18 divided by 6 is equal to 3. And 24 divided by 6 is equal to 4, so x is equal to minus 3 over 4 as the final solution. Again, this is how we solve linear equations. 
If they start out with fractions, we first need to take a look at all the denominators. We find the lowest common denominator by using this method right here. Then we multiply both sides of the equation by the lowest common denominator, and then we proceed to complete it to the end. So this is how we approach equations, linear equations that contain fractions. Get rid of the fractions first, eliminate those fractions, and then solve the equation the way you always solve the equations for the rest of the way. And that's how it's done.